Hello, it's Dr. Don Ibbotson of Above and Beyond Christian Counseling. In this short video, I'm going to outline one step you can take today to begin to get the victory over fear. Do you feel trapped by fear, tormented, paralyzed, or overwhelmed? Christians pursue many avenues to gain freedom from an emotion that can be debilitating and physically damaging when it is full-blown. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you one action item that you can do today to begin to move forward in victory. Now let's take a look at the emotion of fear at, uh, from the perspective of two different battlefields where we encounter it. First of all, the battlefield of the mind. When we experience the emotion of fear, it's a direct result of a thought in our mind that causes alarm or angst about our situation or what may be in the future. Now a significant key to winning these type of mind battles is to capture the thoughts quickly. What makes you afraid? Put words to it. The next step is crucial. Replace this fear-filled thought with a godly faith-filled thought based upon what the Bible says about the situation. Whether it's for employment, provision, salvation, healing, or any other need, the promises in God's word for that situation must displace the fearful worldly thought. How effective you are with this is directly related to your knowledge of God's promises and your level of faith. Competent pastoral or professional Christian counseling help can, can help give you progress in this realm so that you and you should certainly consider those options. If you feel that your faith is small or inadequate, the tip at the end will help you greatly. Now let's talk about the second battlefield, the battlefield of the soul. People can be tormented and oppressed by demonic spirits. When these spirits are outside of a person, we need to discern and resist them so they will flee. That's in James 4.7. We address this scenario in the first point, where the battlefield is the mind. Now, what happens when the spirits are indwelling a person's soul? And this is the true nature of demonic oppression or possession in the case of an unbeliever. And of course, we've got other videos on these topics out there you can research. But when it's, you see, indwelling, the spirits must be cast out of a person, the spirits of fear or whatever, before one can secure the victory. Now, the question is, of course, how do you know if a person needs deliverance from fear? If repeated prayer, Bible meditation, counsel, fasting, and other everything else we know how to do have not produced lasting fruit, these are typically evidences or indicators that there may be resistant and resident demonic strongholds that need to be dealt with. Now, if you need deliverance from a spirit of fear or others, seek out a competent deliverance ministry in your area. We help people worldwide over the internet. If you can't find it locally, you can research our site, maybe contact us, seek prayerfully with the Lord, what have you do that. Now, there's no simple pat answer to defeating fear, but the two scenarios described above will address most of the situations where fear in a person's life is raising havoc. Regardless of your situation, what follows will help you in every situation, something you can do today. Now, what it involves doing is picking one of the scriptures that I'm going to talk about below or another that ministers to you in fighting fear. Here's one in Psalm 23, 4, one of my favorites. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. They say one of my personal favorites. Isaiah 41, 13 says, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Another scripture you could consider is be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified or afraid because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31.6. Here's another one you can consider. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27.1. And you see, these are others. But the point is, pick one of those scriptures or another one that helps you combat fear. Now, this is very important that you put feet to this. Write what you have, write that scripture on a business card or an index card that you can carry around. Now, some of us, I know with this technology, maybe you put it in your phone, but the fact is you want to have it there in a note that you can bring up quickly and add that note. And if that works for you, certainly go for it. Now, here's the key. Here's the third point. Okay, you got the scripture, you write it down. The third one is you need to speak that scripture out loud, out loud. That's important because faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. That will help 
calm your soul. And the fourth key is really to repeat, repeat point three frequently, multiple times a day for one week. Speak the scripture out loud. That will help you. Again, the one step, just to review, is really not complicated, is speak faith scriptures, countering fear out loud. Repeat as often as needed. How does this help? Why does it work? And why should you speak these out loud? Once again, I, I introduced the idea, but here's the deal. Look at Romans 10, 17. Tells us that our faith is increased by hearing the word of God. Your faith matters. And when you see, you see, when you speak scripture out of your mouth, you also hear it. And it's more powerful dynamic than just reading it, even though that is powerful too. But there's power when you speak the words out loud. This one step alone can help you begin to wrestle control of your emotions back to a more stable place. It's not a quick fix, but it can help get you started. You may need help to get to the root of deep-seated fear issues. Understand that. And that's where competent Christian counseling and deliverance ministry might be the best choice for you. And you can pursue this. But, but seriously, please, try this today. Let us know the fruit of it. Hopefully this activity will become part of your routine, not only to fight fear, but also to come against other giants that you might be facing. God's word does not return empty. And the Lord will bless you as you persevere in it. Thank you for watching.